Now it's your turn to try. I've given you two elements in each group that I want you to figure out how they would form an ionic compound. All of the ones at the beginning, I'll just give you a hint, are positive. All of the ones that are at the end are always negative. It always works out that way. It's always positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative. Look up the charges on your chart, see if you can get the correct formula, and then see if you can get the name. We'll come back in a minute, see how you did. All right, let's see how you did. Sodium, if I look it up on the chart, is plus one. Sulfur is minus two. They're supposed to equal zero, always equal zero, and they don't. So how could we make those equal? Well, if I'm correct, if I had an extra one of those, plus two would equal minus two. So the formula is two of those and one of those. You'll notice I don't write the one. A one is always understood. It means there's one there. If I have anything above a one, I have to write the number in, but I don't have to write the one. This one is called sodium. Sulfur becomes sulfide, sodium sulfide. You got that? You did it right. Let's check the next one. Calcium is plus two. Bromine is minus one. Those don't equal either. But if I had an extra one of these, that would work out. Becomes how many CAs? I just used one. BR would be two, called calcium bromide. Calcium bromide. In the next one, aluminum is plus three and oxygen is minus two. Those charges came from the chart. Those really don't equal. Uh, we had one like this in the instructions. They both go into six. Um, so that means I would need AL plus three. I need a one, another one of those to get the six. I need an O negative two and an O negative two, two, four, six, three, six. Okay, that's it. AL took two of them. O, three of them. Oh, so this one has two numbers in it, called aluminum oxide. Aluminum oxide. And in the last one, cesium is a plus one. Iodine is a minus one. They're supposed to equal zero, and they do. So I don't need to do anything. It took one of that and one of that. CSI called cesium iodide. That's a weird sounding word. Cesium iodide. Those are the answers of how you make simple ionic compounds. You check your charges. If they don't equal zero, then you've got to figure out how many make it work out. Now, don't stop here. Make sure you go to the next section, and I'm going to show you a shortcut that will make your life even easier.